OK, next in the series, we're going to review um, the Duet browser. This is yet another dual screen web browser. So as always, let's go to the Wall Street Journal. Interesting. I was They've removed the uh, .com shortcut for the keyboard. Hmm. So most of these dual screen browsers look pretty much the same. Uh, this one doesn't have a full screen mode, as far as I can tell. Um, the, uh, the divider, you can use the divider to make it full screen, I guess. So this moving this divider is a lot smoother than split browser, which is the other dual screen browser that we've reviewed. But uh, quite frankly, I'd prefer a single button to just make it full screen. Okay. Um, on the plus side, this, this thing is pretty cool because let me close that advertisement. So the good thing about it is that you can add tabs. So we could go to let's go to YouTube. I kind of I kind of missed the dot com shortcut and the keyboard, so I don't know why they re they removed that. Hmm. YouTube.com. Okay, so this is this is cool because you can have multiple tabs within each of these windows, and you can switch between them. So let's go to um, landscape. Okay, so pretty much the same. Let's check out a video. Well, let's look at the zoom. bit of a lag there but uh, again it's no different from the other web apps uh, web browsers that we've reviewed where there's just a slight little slight little lag okay let's see if this plays okay so that works well I wonder if you can watch two videos at the same time. Ah, so you see, you can only view one video at a time, I guess. Let me stop that. Let me go back to here. So that's kind of stalled now. So <laughs> I guess you can only watch one video at a time. I guess you wouldn't be watching two videos at the same time anyway. But anyway, that's an interesting discovery. OK. Uh, other features, this has a little bit more. It's got the uh, an, an, an integrated sync with Evernote. So for example, if I like this article, I can tap on the share, and then I can go clip to Evernote. Okay, So if I click that, let's see what happens. So it's, it's integrated with my um, Evernote account. So this has just clipped the entire page, which is not really very cool. But let's just say, so I'm trying to clip a paragraph to see whether it works. OK. Clip to Evernote. OK, so that's clipped. So I guess that works pretty well. So how does Duet Browser compare to the other um, dual screen browsers that we've reviewed so far. Uh, on the plus side, it, you can create multiple tabs on each of the panes, which is cool. So you can have many, many windows open. Uh, I like the fact that this divider is pretty responsive. So you can adjust the screen size. And I do like the additional feature to clip to Evernote. So overall, I'd say Duet Browser has um, is offering more value here in the sense that um, it's it's got a lot more useful features compared to the other two. But you know what? I would still like to have a single button up here somewhere where I can click it, and then that would just become full screen if I just want to have a single browser experience. So that's Duet Browser for you. Please check out the other videos in this playlist in my quest to find the ultimate web browser for the iPad.